Now let's see how we can continue the work for multiple for loops. Now we've already seen a simple example of how we could use multiple for loops to get to a row and column kind of an output. Now we have five rows and every row has different number of columns depending upon the row. Now what if we want this entire output to stop at i equal to 3. Now we see when i is equal to 3 let's stop everything. So in case I could have stopped here also if I say i equal to 3 and I can use break here. So this is one way I could do this. Let's see the output here. So I stop here. Now what if I want to do the same thing from within the inner loop. Suppose I need to check something here and in case the condition is there I need to say that finish off any any further output should not be there. Now if I write break here I am breaking this loop. So it will again continue from the next value of i. So my purpose is not achieved. I need to break the entire gamut of for loops. So I need to reach here. So this is what we are trying to achieve. I need to write a break from an inner for loop and I need to break the outer for loop. So how can we do this? By writing simple break I am only able to break this. But I need to break this. So what I will do is I put on a label here and I will say at i equal to 3 don't just break you break 1. So whatever statement you are referencing by 1 would be broken and the system will shift to a, to a statement which is beyond the labeled statement. So in this case since the for uh, the outer for is labeled 1 we will be breaking this and we will be reaching to this statement. So let's see the output here. So the same result and we reach out at all. So what we essentially have done is since Java does not have a go to statement we have labeled a statement and we break that instead of a normal break we have a labeled break. So we break this and we reach here. So this is how you could make use of labeled break by breaking a loop at any level. So I could have another loop say uh, another for loop here say label 2 and I could have a for loop here and you could break 2 here or you could break 1 depending upon what condition or what flow of loop you want here. So this is how a labeled break works. Now what if I use or continue here. So at i equal to 3 I say continue 1. So continue 1 means you continue with the next value of i. So for one complete value of i the entire for loop is skipped. So for i is equal to 3 nothing gets printed. So you won't find a row of i equal to 3. So as you can see 1, 2, then 4 and 5. So what this is essentially meant is that you can continue with any loop at any level by simply putting a label. So I put this at the outer loop and I say instead of simple continue which would have continued with the next value of j I say continue with the next value of i. So this is how you can work with a label break and a label continue. So label break says it breaks that loop to which you have put down the label continue continues with the next iteration of the loop to whom you have assigned the label. So this is for multiple loops you could even use simple break simple continue or you could use label break and label continue.